What's up, Internet? It's the dumbass Panicos Gaming, and today we're going to try out uh, Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. I've never really cared about any of the Legend of Zelda games. Uh, I want to say I played a tiny bit of Ocarina of Time from, like, a friend's cartridge or something, uh, but I don't really remember for sure. Um, oh, there's more text there. Um, yeah, originally came out in 2005 for Game Boy Advance, uh, and then it was added in the first wave of uh, the Game Boy Advance on Nintendo Switch Online stuff. Let's get into it. Oh, Capcom? Huh. Well, I wasn't expecting to see that name on a Legend of Zelda game. Is that normal? Are they involved in a lot of these? Or is it just because it's this one? Uh, okay, where is it? I know how my alphabet works. Uh, da, 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 da. But yeah, we won't like fully play through this, because honestly I just don't think I'm gonna care enough. Okay. Well, we'll just stick with panic then. You know, I don't think I have to worry about touching the game pack. I will say so far, this game looks kinda nice. Especially for a Game Boy Advance game. But we'll see. Seems like it's probably... Oh, hey, I should probably uh, fix my information on uh, Twitch. There we go. But yeah, this seems like what I would expect the beginning of the Legend of Zelda game to look like. I've I've played a couple of them a little bit. Oh, these are nice pixel pixel graphics. I do like this. Especially for like a Game Boy Advance. I don't know, I feel like I feel like some of the ones that I've done so far have not been great. Like Mario Kart was rough. I mean, one of the tracks, like, literally couldn't even play because it just hurt my eyes. Or that Kuro Kuro game. Good morning, Master Smith. Uh, goodness me, Prisness Zelda. Prisness, Jesus. Did you sneak out of the castle and come all this way alone? The minister is sure to be worried about you. You know how he gets. Oh, don't worry about him. He'll be fine. Where's Panic? Uh, okay, I'm not gonna try and read all this. I'm not super comfortable doing, like, all of the reading in games like this. I need to get better about doing it. But honestly, I'm not gonna play through the whole story of this, so I'm not too worried about it. Alright, when do I get to start smashing pots? I need to be better about uh, with these G uh, Game Boy games, not using the analog stick. Uh, when do I get to start smashing things? Oh, here we go. Oh wait, nope, sorry, cutscene. <laughs> Figures. That feels like it's... That means we're gonna lose that extremely important delivery. Uh, that's a little on the nose.
Can we start smashing stuff now? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I think about your sword shop. Oh, look at that, free money. I'm literally robbing my fucking boss blind. Based. Fuck your cabbages. Actually, I have no idea what those are, but we'll call them cabbages for right now. Uh, we don't really have a sword or anything yet. Okay. I could be an absolute menace and start destroying all of that, but for the sake of playing through any amount of this game today. But we'll see, if I like this, I might try and play it some more. We'll have to see. And if I'm like any good at it. Because it would be nice to actually, like, play a bunch of the old, uh, Zelda games. It's one of those franchises that I've never bothered with much at all. So especially the stuff that's, like, on... You know, especially the NSO stuff. Like, yeah, maybe I should check it out. I do have Breath of the Wild, and I played it for, like, an hour and went, Okay, this is neat, and then didn't play anymore. Okay, I see Zelda has become a zoomer. Uh, is there stuff for me to break here? Man, she is easily distracted. Music is very catchy. That's not so much. Oh, okay, I guess it was just to gather people's attention. You know, I feel like the princess winning the grand prize might be a little bit rigged. Money. Okay, so a heart piece, money, or a shield. I'm gonna guess she's gonna have us... Ow, oh, okay, that makes sense. I was gonna say, I'm assuming we're gonna get to choose, and maybe the shield is slightly better. Or like, slightly better than whatever your normal starting shield is. But I guess she's taking that, because it does say Tiny Shield, and, well, it seems like the story of this game is we're going to get shrunken down at some point. Man, you just got that and you're already re-gifting? Goddamn. Seems right for, again, the tiny bit of Zelda that I've played. Never a meaningful amount, and... Actually, not... What game was it? Now that I'm thinking about it, there was a game that I played. I think it was Ocarina of Time. I really do think it was. That I played a good amount of, and then I got stuck in, like, the underwater section. Not, like, the dungeon, but, like... There's, like, the people you have to talk to underneath... And, like, I couldn't do their, like, minigame or whatever, because I was a stupid kid. But I do remember there was one that I actually did play a little bit of. 
Man, that doesn't bode well if I want to play more of, uh... More of these games if I already sucked at it when I was younger. Defend ourselves against those nuts of his. Oh, I'm... I'm not gonna make up any sort of innuendo there. Mostly because I'm just too slow-witted to make up something real quick. Anyways... There we go. There's a classic tone. Uh, does it matter which way we go? I guess not really at all. It leads to the same place. Her, uh... From the back, her run animation. Oh! That nah, looks better. Okay, it was like stuttery. I guess I probably should be talking to some of these people, huh? Maybe? I don't like that the, like, interact button is the, uh... the right bumper. like four different things in five seconds and then you took like the worst prize and then immediately gave it to me All right, don't know what happened to the music. Ow, oh, that'd be what happened to the music. It was just setting up. Hopefully we get to some actual gameplay soon. Seems like it. God, this game really, like, does make full use of what capability the Game Boy Advance did have. Boy, that shield did a fat lot of good. Well, yeah, because all of that... All the evil flew out as soon as you opened it. Did you not notice that?
Uh, anything to smash in here? Doesn't look like it. I'm sorry, give me up one second here. Uh, my link is cramping up really bad. I'll be back in one moment. Alright, we're back. Look who's going to get sent on that. Once again, being told not to lose it, I feel like that's just asking for trouble. sense. Nah, uh, that's not true game. I will most definitely get lost still. have like the charge up. Now, uh, maybe we have to get a better sword or maybe we could like learn that later. I'm not sure. Because there is supposed to be like some sort of a like spin move, right? Maybe not though. I, again, I've not played these games a whole lot. I just feel like I remember that from what I have played. All right, can I not go start chopping down bushes and stuff? Yeah, it looks like it, the, the guards are literally set up to not allow that. Very nice, okay. Now we have some actual gameplay. I assume we need something special for this, maybe bombs or something. Jerk. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, just, just chop down everything. Everything must die in the name of collecting money. Even though it kind of doesn't matter, so I probably shouldn't do too much of this. Well, it will matter, I'm sure, at some point. But, you know, not like right now. I don't know if this stuff respawns ever or not. Uh, oh. Okay. 
that's not as much of a aha moment as I thought it was. I assume there's something under there at some point. Ow. That was rude. Alright, let's not spend too much time on that. I do want to actually play some of this game. You can attack pretty fast. I wasn't sure if you could attack faster, so I hadn't done it yet. You know, I feel like I'm not really getting much money from the grass. I'm starting to feel like maybe you're not supposed to be doing that. <laughs> I suppose also if I need money I can farm enemies, because I'm pretty sure the enemies will respawn. I wonder if that lets you... Okay, interesting. I wonder what the purpose of that little... ditch is. Or if there is any purpose. Although it is interesting, they respawned the instant they were off-screen. Okay, well that was pretty easy to cheese. Maybe better about rolling. Oh wow, so you can just take them out before they even get the chance to move. There's a little bit of tech to this. It'd be fun. Okay. Again, I feel like there's probably something important that's going to happen there. I just don't know what yet. Okay. Huh, I wonder what those whirlwinds are for. Well, probably another item at some point, actually. Probably be a safe bet. Don't mind me, just chopping down all your cabbages again. Okay, well, I mean, this is just part of Zelda being an absolute public menace. I may not have played much of the games, but I do at least know this much. You must smash all the pottery. What all the holes are about. Can we go through this? No. That feels like that's some sort of door, or maybe a cave entrance for later. Ow. I heard a sound, I don't know if that was in-game. Sorry, give me one sec. Alright. Okay, we are now in the Minish Woods. Oh, right. Can't really swim. Uh, okay, what if I try and roll it? Nope, okay. Doesn't look like I can actually take any damage from that, though, funnily enough. Try and get a heart to drop here. The little, like... Uh, God Ray's effect is a little bit annoying, if I'm going to be honest. Okay. 
Trying to get another heart to drop. Not having a whole lot of luck with it. Not that I'm really in any danger, but you know. That's just kind of the way I play games, especially anything that's... I don't know if this game really counts as an RPG, but like anything like that, or at all similar. So basically any game, let's be honest. Uh, I play extremely cautiously, probably to my own detriment. It's nice and foggy. Boy, it'd be great if those enemies would drop anything. Let me go back up this way. Oh, is this just water? Oh no, we can actually walk in this. Not that that really helps much because, again, we just instantly start drowning. Is that something right there? No, I guess it was just the fog. Oh, uh, what was it? Does it say? It doesn't really, like, say the objective anywhere. Oh. Oh, we can save. That's nice. Just like kind of wondering how we'll know if we're in the right spot. I feel like that's the way we're supposed to go because this seems like it's kind of logged off. Oh, probably because this, uh, as once we actually have like the minish cap or whatever. Maybe. I don't really need to spam against those enemies as much as I have been. Well, that seems important. Well, that's just rude. Okay. Uh, where was that? It's just further along this. Uh, where was that? Because, yeah, I think we need to be small to get through some of this stuff. Or to get through a lot of it, actually. Unless I was back up where we had come from, maybe? Yep, there we go, okay. Well, it's weird that we have to backtrack for that. Okay. Hey. 
Okay, this is gonna get annoying pretty quickly. Okay, there we go. Oh, I wonder if that's basically like a way to remember, um, like where in the quest you are or what you need to do next. Okay, so that's what you use those for. God, this game really is adorable. I can see why it's a popular game, for sure. Man, they were not kidding about you being tiny. Yeah, makes sense that we can't chop anything down. But we can run through that. Uh. Okay, yes, we can get on that. It's like there's a bit of a gap there, so I wasn't sure. Oh, this is cool looking. Yeah, this game is definitely really neat. I kind of do want to come back to it at some point. But it might be a little while. I might, uh... I don't know. We'll see. Because, again, if, you know, the Pokemon games are coming out soon, that kind of has priority for me, to be honest. Oh, good. There's the language barrier. go up to each one of them and talk. I guess that makes sense, but... Fuck. I feel like there's gonna be some sort of tell. I was making sure that pressing A wasn't different from pressing right bumper. It's not. Oh, yeah, I feel like this would be it. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Maybe not. 
Maybe not that one. There we go. Barrow House, just south of there, okay. Sure you don't have any pots for me to smash? Okay, you said Barrel House just south of there, but... That's a shoe. Oh, okay. I guess that would be a barrel. That makes sense that it'd be so large. Uh, oh. Can I just, like, eat a random one? They're not going to get, like, upset about me... Oh, okay, I see. So this is that pathway. Uh, I assume this is it. I mean, this looks like a barrel. Uh. Oh, there we go. Okay. I didn't realize that there was a puzzle element to that. I say puzzle element, it was pushing a box to the left. But I didn't realize I was gonna have to actually move something. Ugh, I have to do effort in my video game? Okay, what am I doing next? Okay, so I'm just gonna have to start talking. I assume we're gonna go back up and to the left to that uh, one that I tried to talk to the first time. Ah, sorry. I still have a little bit of a cough from being sick couple of weeks ago. Which probably is not a good sign. Also, it doesn't help that I'm talking a bunch. Okay, four mystic elements. All right, so kind of spread all over the map.
wondering how long this game is. I feel like all the Zelda games have a decent amount of length to them. But the fact that it's like just the four elements, I'm getting ahead of myself. But that feels like it might be a little bit short. I don't know. Oh, I think we'll be fine. Watch me get instantly murked. Uh... Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Okay. So I guess we just have to go up. Oh, wow, that makes sense. Oh, that's where we got the heart piece. Anything to our left? Hey, thank you for the follow, man. You hate Link's voice when he rolls. That's... I can see how that would be a little bit annoying. Yes, we got more pots to break. Okay, maybe I shouldn't be breaking these. Okay, uh, well, it's too late. Might as well break them all. Alright. So the slugs are basically not a threat. We need a key. The game is awesome. In that dungeon, there's a puzzle involving a rolling wooden thing. Interesting. Yeah, I'm liking it so far. I've never really messed with the Zelda games too much, but this is, uh... This definitely wants me, makes me want to play them a little bit more. I definitely see why, uh... Why so many people like this game. Definitely looks good, especially for a Game Boy Advance game. It's really making use of its, uh... What it can do. I assume that's going to bring up a bridge. Yep. Oh, we have to just pull it this way. Okay. That looked a little bit suggestive. Oh, maybe we're not doing anything with that yet? Uh... Oh! I see. After that play, Link to the Past, Link's Awakening, or the remake. Okay. Yeah, I mean, basically, I want to try and check out the ones that are on uh, NSO, at the very least. Since I'm already paying for them, I might as well check those out first. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll uh, try playing through more of them in the future for sure. Or not just playing playing them like I'm playing this night where I'm just going to try, you know, check it out for an hour. Okay, that's not doing anything. Uh well, that just seems to slow you down. Okay. Okay, so I take it this is probably that rolling, uh, rolling 
wood thing. Still not quite sure what to do with those. Oh, I probably have to press on both. Right, I feel like there's something right here that I need to be interested in, but I have no idea what the mechanic with these mushroom guys is. That's a really, really neat looking thing. Uh, how do we get out? Oh, okay. I guess that works. Was there not somewhere else to go up above that, though? There's that one. Uh, well, there's something up there. There's two, like, doors up there. But I don't think I need to be too worried about them just yet. Interesting, they seem to lock in. Okay. Uh, can I go in this door? Looks like not yet. That might be like the final door to the dungeon or whatever. <laughs> Alright, out over here, where I think we were supposed to go to begin with. Well, obviously we were, because there's nothing else to do. Another one of those springs. Uh, I assume another... No? Oh. All right, well, let's go ahead and spring across then. Uh, can we push this? There we go. So we now have that open. I was wondering, because there's this gap right here, so I was like, oh, maybe we're supposed to do uh, only halfway on it? go, more money. That's all I care about. <laughs> oh, dungeon map, that's good. Okay. There's definitely a little bit of depth to this. The ones that are available are Link's Awakening DX, Majora's Mask, uh, Ocarina of Time, Link to the Past, Legend of Zelda 1, and Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. Okay. Thanks for letting me know. I'm sure there'll be more coming with the, uh... Oh, well, were there more on Game Boy Advance? I feel like there were, right? Maybe not. Either way, I'm sure there'll be a few more becoming available over time. So I'll definitely have plenty to play. But, again, I'm right now I'm kind of... at least want to see if, um, if the Pokemon games are going to get added soon, since that's usually my main uh, go-to for, for uh, stuff to play. Okay. I didn't even read what it said earlier. Uh, okay, something needs to get dragged across there. Let me enter and come back in real quick. I think I might have screwed something up. Yeah, okay. So I needed to... Uh... Oh, 
Oh, do I just need to push this? I probably just need to push it, duh. I'm dumb. Said to keep picking it up. But yeah, this has definitely made me more interested in Zelda. I don't know, I've just never cared because it just felt like, yeah, this is probably just a, you know, a franchise I'm never going to get into because you just don't have the time for it. But, God, with how nice of a little, you know, this game looks and, uh, yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's, I'm a lot more interested in the franchise right now. Okay, does this do anything? Only ones you see coming are Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons. Metroid, yeah, I mean, that's another one that I need to potentially do at some point. Or not potentially, probably should do. A lot of just the old uh, Nintendo stuff I never got around to, because I always had PlayStations when I was growing up. And even though I did have a Game Boy Advance, I didn't really care about stuff like Morio. But that's part of why I'm uh why I'm doing the NSO stuff, because it's like, well, hey, I have it uh You know, I already have it available to me on the Switch, so might as well check it out. Is that what you need to do? No, I think we need to go back room now. Right, because there's that uh, locked door back over here. You should uh, emulate them. Yeah, I mean, maybe. We'll see. I also don't have all that much time for, like, you know, playing games as much as I used to, anyways. So it's like, if I don't... If I already don't have the time for games that I actually am owning then, I don't know, we'll see. Again, I'm definitely a little bit more interested in this. But yeah, especially with like that, uh, that remaster for Metroid. Was it the first one that uh, came out? Definitely a little more interested in that as well. Uh, okay. Oh no, I can't jump down, okay. Metroid Prime 1 Remastered. Okay, yeah. Right, because the Prime games, I guess, were like the first 3D ones or whatever. It's a little annoying. Um, yeah, I'm not 100% sure what I'm supposed to be doing with these guys. I assume that door... I don't know. Oh, okay, that just opens up this door. Make it a little bit faster. That's nice. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's, like, something I should be doing. Oh, wait, hold on. Hey, there we go. Ow. Okay, well, that, I can't... I can only blame myself for that. until Metroid Zero Mission comes to the GBA emulator. Okay. And, oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. I guess I will not try to grab this heart, except I will because I don't learn my lesson. Uh, I think I need a key, right? Okay. Uh, I keep on pressing the wrong button. Oh, 
Okay, so let's go back down. It's canonically the first game because it's a remake of Metroid 1. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. Right. I should probably heed the uh, drag distance there. I feel like I just barely made that. Did I just slash these? Do I need to pick them up? Okay, I do. Grab the heart. I almost walked right back into that. Okay, how are we supposed to... I think we want to drag this one all the way over and then push this one all the way over. It's a little annoying that the, uh, the secret sound plays every time you do that. But oh well. It's supposed to be just like a... Not really a mini boss room, but like the first any like reasonably difficult uh, combat, I guess. Why does it keep on giving me the info about? Oh yeah, you got a key. It's like yeah, I know. Uh, why am I going the long way for this? Is there anything back over here that I needed to care about? Oh, I don't think I went up, did I? Oh, wait, no, this is down. Oh, I did that wrong. Okay. Easy enough to reset. Push you up to the side. Oh, compass. Okay. Oh. Find hidden items. Come back for this. Okay, yeah, so it's literally telling me to come back later. That's nice, though. They doesn't, like, just leave you out to dry the entire time. Alright, we're gonna get jumped in a second. guys and have them like stay gone yeah whatever not too worried about it just go open this up oh now it's enraged Oh, okay, so while it's enraged, you can't hit it at all. Oh, I need to hit it more there. Whoops. Is 
Is it getting a little bit longer each time? I feel like it is. Which would make sense, because it makes it harder to uh, reach the tail. Oh, yeah, see, like that. God, the spider webs make it kind of a pain in the ass. There we go. Best jar. Okay, so I have a feeling that's how we're gonna get the that other chest that we had to skip over. Oh, is that how we have to get out of here? Okay. Uh, back to this. Set that to A, because I'm like, oops. Not really making use of that anyways, the shield. Okay. That doorway open. Run down here, grab another heart piece. Oh. I was wondering, like, what the purpose of this stuff was. Okay. Is there like a hidden teleport pad as well? And mysterious shells, okay. More mysterious shells, okay. Okay, so I don't even need to, like, really suck in. It's actually a lot faster just to mash the button. Let's make sure I don't miss anything in here. Oh, that's an interesting way. Okay. Is there going to be anything else special for me in here? Doesn't seem like it. Alright, so that teleport pad is somewhere else then. Now I'm going to be, like, doing this everywhere, though. Alright, well, let's go down here and do this again. Now that I know how we're going to do it. Uh... Actually, wait. Never mind. Okay, maybe we can't do that just yet. I was thinking I knew how we would do that. Uh, so what do we have left to explore? We got one more chest back in that, like, big barrel room, it looks like. Um. Oh, and one more in this room. Okay. Is there something over here, maybe? That I missed? this out again. Can I suck in the fire? Okay, now. 
There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. More shells for some reason. He's gonna respawn again? Yes. Uh, can I second this or something? Can I push this over? Yes, I can. Okay. Oh, there's definitely something here. Okay. Don't know what all these shells are for. Which is mildly annoying. Okay. So I do feel like I need to go figure out that, um... That puzzle that I was trying to figure out a second ago. Because, yeah, I don't feel like there's much else to do back over here. Go back in here and see if there's anything? Anything at all? Okay, that wasn't helpful. Um... See if there's maybe a hidden button, because I think it just shows the items with the compass, right? Uh... Did I ever go into this? Yeah, I did go into this right room. Oh, whoops. Oh. Okay, that's neat. So you can suck it like that. That's cool. I don't know how useful that is. Okay, come on. There we go. Back into this room. I don't think there's anything I cared about in here. Because, yeah, we just figured out how to go up. Which, like, wasn't too interesting. Uh... More free money, though. This door's already open. And we got the item that was in here. Unless, are we supposed to... Okay, I don't think there's anything we're supposed to do there. Uh, anything with this? I really don't think so. Because it seems like usually it's more obvious than that. It's got to be down where I just was. And I'm just being dumb with how the mechanic works. Why is this one that was to the right still broken? Um... Yes, there's nothing else I can do down here. Um... Hmm. Man, am I really gonna get stumped by a puzzle on the first dungeon? Uh... There's 
nothing down here, right? Because there's... There's that chest that I can't figure out, and then there's more that I have to travel through. Or was there a way... Hold on a second. Am I being really, really dumb? I think I'm being really, really dumb. I just realized. Was there a way up? No. Okay. There's not a... Appreciate that. No, so there's not a way, like, up there. Because I assume that's, like, after you beat the boss. So that looks like it's way back over the first floor. Did I, like, completely skip some stuff? Or maybe... Oh! There might be something back for me down there. Now that I have this new item. Uh, right, because now we can get back across. Definitely grab that. Uh, maybe. Maybe not, though. Oh! There's a warp spot that's active here now. I'm gonna guess this is gonna take me over to the boss. Oh, wait a second. Or more specifically... Uh... Yeah, so those will take me up to the boss. This is gonna warp me to the uh, heart fragment. Before we even do the boss. Okay. See, that's why I didn't realize that, like, I had to actually just run all the way back to the beginning. Am I really on the wrong side? Uh, can I push anything? Come on, please. Okay, so we can at least get this chest from this side. That's good. Alright, I do want to do this, and then we'll wrap up. So, I'm going to guess we're going to do this. And then come over here. And save real quick. Again, not too worried about touching the game pack, but it's just because this is literally just the ROM. Um, I assume these are just going to have hearts, but I'm already at max HP, so it doesn't really matter. No, we can't get into this yet. So we do need to go figure out those chests? Was one of the... One of those spider webs back in that, uh, like, mini-boss room might have been covering something, I wonder. And I just didn't realize. Alright. Honestly, if I if that isn't what it is, uh... I might just wrap up here. I don't want to be stuck on this puzzle all night. I was wanting to be done after an hour. It's now been an hour 15, which, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world, but because I am enjoying this game, actually. 
But I do need to wrap up at some point here. Uh, was that the... I went the wrong way. Uh, okay. We'll just go all the way around. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Is this it? Maybe? It's like it sucked. There we go. That's what it was. Yeah, because that's the uh, room I needed to get into. Use this. And then do we just suck to move it? Okay. I knew it was going to be something that was kind of obvious. Second one. Mere asshole. Or just ignore me, actually. I'm kind of okay with that. Nope. He, he aggroed. Uh, let's go up first. Nope. We need another key for that. Is it really not close enough? Oh my god. Just go fast. figured that was going to be what was going to need to happen. Uh, okay, how... Never mind. That's going to be easy enough to do. I was wondering for a second, like, how am I going to do this? Quite easily, in fact. Nope, nope, nope. That's not what I wanted. That's what I get for using the analog stick instead of the D-pad. Push you across. There we go. Okay, we got a key. Now I have to go back to get up in the other door. Uh, like I don't want to wrap up right at the end of um. Of this dungeon. But god, I wish I had realized it was gonna take so long. Probably would have stopped like right after the um. Uh, the whatchamacallit, the, like, wheel mechanic. Dodge the falling snails. Alright, I assume that is going to have... Or, uh, like, boss key in it. Oops. Weird. Okay. 
Go. Uh, this way again. Actually, let me stand all the way back here. This might actually launch me into the water again, though, which would be funny. Uh, okay, and that's going to send me to the boss. Or maybe just back to the uh, main room. Really? I disagree. I disagree, game. Okay, there we go. That's nice. Alright, finally now we are at the boss. Well, almost at the boss. Alright. Save again, now that we actually get to fight him. I think whether or not I beat him or I die, I think I'm just going to go ahead and uh, wrap up. Okay. Oh, so we're about to fight the giant form of that thing. Or the normal form, but we're tiny. That's kind of a cool idea. Um... Okay, so we have to be careful about getting too close to him. And I need to actually use my rolls. Ow. Okay, I assume this will be rule of three. And it'll get a little bit harder each time. What a weird-ass enemy this is, though. Oh, there we go. I guess it might not be rule of three, since we're doing button mashing. Oh, I did the wrong move at the wrong time. Oh, he keeps kind of catching me out with that. I think we should be okay, though. Oh, I was hoping he... Oh, nope, that's the wrong... Ah. God, really, did I waste that? Oh. Okay, I need a... I need a little bit more health here. We're making too many dumb mistakes. Too many dumb mistakes. Stops moving, I need to stop sucking. Well, I need to stop sucking in general, but, you know... You know what I mean. There we go. Really? Still? Is there something I'm not doing that I should be? Should I be using the suck on him when he's down like that? I'm, like, not getting any hits on it, though. Because if I spend any time trying to do that... Can you stop? Okay. 
That was really annoying. He is moving a lot faster now. That much is certain. There we go. That's it. Okay. I'm so used to rule of three in classic video games, I wasn't sure what was going on. Alright, I assume that's the Earth element. Da, 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 da. All right, I will grab that. And then we will save, because I might actually come back to this one day in the future, but I am going to wrap up there for tonight, because it is 3 in the morning. That went longer than I expected it to. My laptop has decided to start giving up again. like it likes to do. Okay. Um, yeah, we're going to wrap up there. Uh, that was a lot more fun than I expected it to be. I don't know. I just figured that like Zelda just wasn't going to be something I particularly care about. Um, but yeah, I had a little bit of fun with that. A lot of fun, actually. Um, so we might come back and revisit this someday in the future. But for right now, uh, that'll be all we're going to play. So if I do start playing again in the future, then we'll just start from here. Um, yeah, so I think tomorrow uh, we're going to play some Pokemon because I want to work on my living decks a little bit for um, getting all the stuff from Scarlet and Violet like actually in the decks so that way I can get that going and be like or have it ready, uh, assuming Pokemon Home does update on Monday. Um, yeah, and then Sunday we will... Uh, second i will do some shiny hunts and god it's late i'm tired <laughs> um but yeah anyways that was minish cap uh definitely have fun with it definitely want to check out more of the legend of zelda games in the future for sure um if you're watching this on youtube uh thank you so very much for getting this far check me out on twitch twitch.tv slash gaming i try to stream five days a week um wednesday through Sunday, so no Mondays or Tuesdays typically, although I might stream this Monday because of the Nintendo or the Pokemon Direct. Um, and yeah, I do a lot of shiny hunting. I'm also uh, just slowly checking out all these old, uh, you know, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, NSO, or all the NSO stuff, so NES, all that stuff. Um, I'm trying to do that like once a week or so. Um, but yeah, thank you so very much for watching. I do definitely appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time.